Hey guys, welcome back to Destination Here. Today we're doing something really fun. We're going to upgrade the locks on our Imagine 2800BH. We have two doors. We've had problems with these locks. They do okay, but they're just they're just not cutting it. Um, so we reached out to our friends at RV Locks and we got two of their new locks. Uh, they work by Bluetooth, key fob, and regular key. If you order multiple locks, they'll key all your locks the same for you. Um, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Alright, let's unbox it. RV Lock did a really good job with the packaging on this. Not sure if you can see it, but nice and embossed. It's very pretty. Let's open. Very nice. You get some booklets. And there's the lock. It's very heavy very initial thoughts are it's very good build quality it's very hefty you have the accessories which is going to be your strike plate and oh the key fobs there's one key fob there's two key fobs let's see what else you get two keys and your like I said your strike plates are in there and then this is the back the back part of the lock and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really a plug and play. All right, first thing we gotta do is take the door handle off. Now we take the striker plate off, or whatever it's called. Once we have those removed, this side will just pop right out. Ta-da! While we're at it, we'll give it a little clean in here. My wife swears by this stuff. All right, then you're gonna take the main lock in part, you're gonna make sure that the cord gets through, and you're gonna push this into this hole here. It's gonna be snug, so you might have to fiddle with it for a minute. But the, at least the inside of our door is just foam, so. There we go. There we go. And that'll pull tight once we put the screws in. All right, now we're gonna install the, what I've been calling the striker plate. Don't judge me, I'm not a handy guy. The fact that I'm not calling it a metal thingy, it should be. All right, we're gonna install the internal plate. First thing we gotta do, is connect the cord like that. This is important. This part goes on this, and you have to have the door latch in so that this part is sticking out. And if you can see it, it goes right inside of that little spot right there, right there. So you gotta make sure you line everything up and tuck in the cords. There we go, just like that. Just use the electric one to tighten them. Nice. Welcome to RV Lock. Cool. Now we just need to install the plate on the camper. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to set your own code on the RV Lock. It's really easy. You're going to go right here to code reset. You're going to push and hold until you hear it. All right, so what you're gonna do is enter new code. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Lock. Enter new code, then press lock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock. New code accepted. New code accepted. And then that's it. Let's just check it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to pair one fob with two different locks. First thing you're gonna do, just to make sure, this right here, it says fob learn, 
You're gonna push and hold that until it says reset, and that's gonna wipe it clear. Hear that? Remote memory reset. So now it's really easy. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna push the fob button, you're just gonna push it down, and then you're gonna hit the lock button on whichever of the two ones you wanna use for this lock. So what I'm gonna use number two since it's our left door. So push, connect your remote, remote connected. Okay, so watch. Now unlock and lock. Now we go doing the same thing on the other door, just with the other button. Same thing. Push Bob. Connect your remote. Connect your remote. Remote, connected. remote connected. So now it should lock it and unlock it. Now the cool thing is you can add multiple remotes. Each, each door comes with two fobs or each lock comes with two fobs. So we have four total. So all you do is you do that same process with every remote except for the reset. Don't do the reset again. Push it once and do it with every remote. Then you'll have four remotes, each of them unlocking both doors. So that's it for us. Um, we're super excited to use it. Um, we've got four key fobs total. We have four keys total. Both doors are keyed the same from the factory. And um, next we're gonna have to figure out something to do with these things. I hate these things. So maybe RV Lock has something for us there. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.